Hey, you internet. It's Paul. It's Matt. The Dork Lords. We are here today talking about episodes five and six of the new Netflix show, Dead Boy Detectives. The episode's entitled, The Case of the Two Dead Dragons and The Case of the Creeping Forest. <laughs> we open episode five with Crystal having a nightmare about David the Demon. Uh, she was also triggered by Charles's violence toward the night nurse the mm. previous episode. And so she tells Charles that she just wants to be friends for now. Friends owned him. Friends owned him after they had this little romantic interlude at the end of the last episode. That's true. Uh, meanwhile, Edwin is approached by two dead high school jocks, mm. Brad and Hunter. Mm. Uh, baseball players, I think? Uh, who were mysteriously murdered after winning the state championship for their team, the Dragons, hence the title. Mm. Uh, FYI, I played on a soccer team called the Dragons, because of course I did. Of course you um, did. <laughs> Charles and Crystal suggest they seem like good guys, and in fact, Charles immediately sees a parallel between the two dead jocks and Edwin and Charles. They're just sure. two teenage friends That's who right. died too young, and Same they want thing. answers. Same yep. thing. So uh, we end episode six with Edwin about to confess his feelings for Charles. Yes. When the night nurse, having recently escaped from the anglerfish sea monster, arrives <laughs> to claim the duo. Uh, Charles argues that Edwin shouldn't be sent to hell because he was only there due, a, due to a technical error. Yes. The night nurse checks her book. She agrees. Wow, look at that. First time ever the, the mistake was made. So Well, she uh, uh, wants to investigate more. Right, but she's she the like, first time in up. two million years or whatever it was. Yeah, like, so, you know, so she's giving them a bit of a pr reprieve. Right, so she but, says she'll temporarily uh, keep them together in the lost and found department yes. while they figure out a solution. Yeah. yeah. Um, however, it appears anyway that the night nurse's activities with the book... Uh, alerts the tentacle monster that takes souls to hell. Uh, we saw it do it with uh, Brad and, and Hunter earlier. So it arrives, it grabs Edwin, and takes him straight to hell. Yeah. Do not pass go. Uh, leaving a distraught Charles holding Edwin's notebook. I'd say a rescue mission is afoot for episode mm, seven. Perhaps. Uh, all that said, Paul. Yes, after all that. Think? <laughs> of episodes five and six of Dead Boy Detectives. Um, yeah, I, 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 I liked these episodes, perhaps more than the previous ones. So yeah, I All right. it up there to a seven there. Um, All right, very good, 7. very good. 7.5 even. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's perhaps uh, I'm just sort of getting used to the show. Typically, the um, while I respect the little emotional parts, of it if it feels a little too pat and uh, there, are, there are a couple of moments like that here yeah, yes again yeah yeah but uh you know this, i think it's perhaps i'm just sort of getting used to the show so um there's enough creativity in the mere part that you've exp explained you know um a high point for me in the shows there were uh um you know what a fantastic character what's his name was uh the guy in the fish kashi uh you know he's a very very you know interesting combination to her you know manic ravings um yeah you know, she, yeah so what was that what do we are we gonna see him again or was he just like a guidepost on the way she had a ring from him yeah i don't know i point? i was uh, just automatically assuming that you would uh be gushing now with with all sorts of um, of lore or something yeah I, I, yeah yeah Kashi. um perhaps he is it, a legendary feels, mythological it, being. It, yeah because it feels very gamian right very gamian yeah yeah and there uh, are some other mythological references in this episode for sure which i'll talk about but um, yeah. i did not recognize this particular mm. mythological figure uh but yeah uh yeah it was interesting it was almost like a it depends on your point of view yeah i've been in here forever <laughs> but you know it's just one of life's adventures yeah, you know it's like yeah, 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 um yeah. and uh yeah yeah agreed um in fact we see it somehow maybe that experience has turned a corner for night nurse she is not the evil 
terrible, you know, vengeful creature thing that she kind of was originally. Here she's like, oh, let, I will look in my book and, oh, look at that. You're right. There was a technicality. There are some problems. Whatever. So, right. I, Well, you know, as Charles was making the case there, you know, her ring glowed for some reason. Right, right. So we don't know. I mean, maybe that... Maybe that has the effect. Maybe she would have had a different reaction if weren't for that ring. Or maybe it just reminded her of what she yeah. went through. I don't know. Agreed. Yeah, there's that that it was a little mysterious. Another thing that I uh, really liked was the animation sequence. Speaking of mythological. Oh yes, yes. Figures. With, and with the so, with the walrus, right? With uh, yeah, tragic Mick. Yes. So Tragic Mick uh, was created by Sedna. Sedna, a yes. mythological figure, who also, interestingly, gets referenced in the recent um, uh, True Detective Season 4. Actually, it's ah, kind of plays a, a part sure. in the mythology of that show as well. Sure, sure. Um, but yeah, yeah, so that, that little animation style was really interesting, and I thought it added a fun uh, little visual component to the show. Yes, yes so. it did. And a few of the plot developments that we thought might be coming... And I think we're hoping we're coming, uh, showed hints of arriving. So, for instance, Edwin telling Charles how he feels. Uh, sure. I mean, that's definitely on the horizon now. Oh, yeah. Set sure, it up yeah, like, yeah, I'm about to yeah, tell yeah, you. Yeah, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. So that's coming. Uh, that'll be an interesting uh, development. Monty turning against Esther. You called it. <laughs> mm. Last time, I was, I was kind of bored with the idea of Monty just being a pawn. And for a while in episode six, I was thinking, "Told you, Paul. He's just, <laughs> this is stupid." Uh, but then, no, no, he did. Uh, he sh at least showed an attempt to break free from Esther before she either. I couldn't tell what she did. Did she kill him? Did she torture him? It seemed like you know she was ripping him apart. Maybe yeah. just taking the um, the magical parts of uh, him away. I don't know. I mean, he was a crow. Or, yeah. So maybe. Yeah. You're a crow again. I don't know. Anyway, something we didn't see the results, uh, but no, no. he at least showed that his experiences with Edwin and Charles and, and the gang had yes. uh, changed his uh, his mindset uh, and made yeah. him so so good on that. You yeah, were, you, were, a, you were a right. last minute uh, trying to save poor yep. Edwin. And then we were also fairly certain the night nurse hadn't died from the yeah, giant yeah, yeah, fish. Yeah, yeah, and of yeah, course. Yeah. yeah, they did a good job of, um, you know, having her feel as if, you know, like, oh, I'm going to live forever, but I don't want to live forever in a fish. So yeah. the stakes were appropriate for her character. Yeah, uh, yeah. Right. It's not just like, I'm immortal, so no nothing matters. It was like, no, right. I don't want to be here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to spend eternity bored out of my gourd. <laughs> Interestingly, Nico kind of takes a back seat in these two episodes. So she's she's the B plot in episode five, where she right. sets up her landlord yes. on a date with a homicidal stalker. Well yes, done. yes, yes. Um, and then she's kind of replaced by Monty in a way for the big mm. showdown in the woods in episode six, right? Where they're like, we have to pair off like a one spirit with one live person. So it's like Crystal. And Charles, and then Edwin and Monty. I mean, they wanted to have Edwin and Monty, uh, you know, together. But as, as a result, Nico was like, well, I'll just stay back at the, the apartment. Well, you also saw, too, that uh, we didn't see too much evidence of her little uh, her little sprites there. Right. I think we heard them at one point. It was a brief thing, yeah. Uh, the sprites are still just like her little pets. Yeah, yeah, but she made reference to it like, oh, you know, um, especially in that uh, sixth episode that she'd cover them up because, you know, she's uh, was taking down pictures and doing all sorts of other things to try to atone for yeah. uh, her uh, over-romantic aspect. Well, we also see, it's interesting, you know, because while they're jokey, they are also, uh, the sprites tend to talk bad about her, right? Like, insult yes. her, make her, like doubt herself like oh you're right, terrible yes. you're stupid blah 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 yeah and so much like we see david the demon doing that with crystal you're you're weak you're stupid um i feel like maybe it's even a major theme of the show that like uh toxic relationships mm. are almost like these demonic or evil spirits mm. you know in the case of david you know they're tormenting you keeping you from being your best self right, right making right. you doubt yourself so we saw that with Brad and Hunter as well, the effect that their mm. mistreatment had on the people in their lives. But I'm going to suggest uh, that the sprites are slightly different. Uh, they, occasionally you know, they come up with some insight, 
Well, yeah. two, but also they often come up with some insight that causes people to say, oh, maybe I'm good not point. such a good friend, or maybe I should be doing things differently. Okay, okay. So maybe they're more like a, a wise-ass Jiminy Cricket or something. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I think it's accidental. They're, like, pointing at somebody to try to show people their uh, faults. Um, and so, therefore, it's more pointed. But then if someone's like, you know what? That's a good point. I think I'll make a change. It's like, yeah. oh, <laughs> darn it. Oh, we just wanted to hurt you. We didn't want to help you. <laughs> <laughs> Because we see that uh, more of the toxic relationships, obviously, with Charles and his abusive dad. Mm. Um, and I think we'll probably see it with Edwin and with the events that surrounded his sacrifice or whatever. If I've had to guess, it was... Mm. Anyway, we'll see. Toxic relationships can mm. be uh, pretty, pretty terrible things. Sure, sure. And we're getting a sense of, uh, you know, the path forward there um, when Crystal, uh, you know... Uh, goes inward and sees uh, part of the past that she doesn't have to worry about recovering. It's the part that's always in with her, which is her family. Right, right. Kind of felt like uh, had the little echoes of uh, T'Challa. Black Panther? The, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah ancestral yeah. Work plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Even down to the tree. I was like, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, yeah. She... Uh, yeah, during her fight with Esther, she remembers the washerwoman's riddle, mm. which is like, look into yourself, which yes. is like much of a riddle. Like, oh, okay. Hey, look at that. I did it. I had the power all along. Yeah. Um, but yes, uh, she is connected to, uh, it's not really her immediate family. It's not a memory that she actually would have had that she no. lost. No, no, no. It's, just... it's just sort of like a genetic kind of, yeah. uh, your ancestors are with you. And the people yeah. who had... The power that you had and pointing to perhaps the power is even more substantive than you originally thought. So Yeah, because then she comes back and then she communicates with the forest elemental. Yes. Telling it that it is not really under the witch's control and so it uh, it leaves taking the witch with it. Oh, and the interesting thing that I did not see the first time that I watched it. Uh, but, you know, when Edwin gets pulled away... The bracelet that was keeping him back just fell to the to the ground. Uh, right, the, the bracelet floor. was next to the book. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So he's so, free of it. Okay. Yeah, you know. Because he had been told <laughs> earlier in the episode with the Cat King, where he kind of dismisses the Cat King, and the Cat King's like, "You, this bracelet will be on you forever." You know, yeah, so and you know, they, they <laughs> it's, it's interesting how they play. You know these plot points. It's like, okay, uh, now I won't be nice anymore. Now I'm right. gonna be more of a problem. Right. I mean, not in this episode. You know, in a later episode. In a later uh, episode, <laughs> they do it. It's so true. Even just in these six episodes, they have. I mean, I suppose that the story carries on. They are certainly yes. not like. Yes. They're not the Simpsons where the story just resets after every yeah, episode. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, no, your your <laughs> actions have consequences. And so even though you've You've done seemingly something to help in one area. Yeah. You've hurt another. Like, how uh, far do you think he's gotten in his counting of cats? <laughs> yeah, <I know>. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to say not far. Not far. Uh, but he doesn't need to now, right? I mean, he's like, hey, I don't have to. Well, who reason. knows? You know, maybe it's, uh, you know, it'll pop right back on as soon as he gets back, in, back oh, into the city. Who call. knows? Who if he knows? put, If the Cat King put it on him in the first place, yeah. you would think he'd just be like, oh, you're back here. Yeah, yeah. Continue counting, sir. I mean, one of the big topics of the episode five is that Charles really is personally invested in helping, I think it's good spirits achieve closure. Mm. Uh, he doesn't want to believe what he learns about right, Brad yes. and Hunter because yeah. he desperately wants this. I think he wants to be like a redemptive hero that helps individuals and he feels that are a mirror to himself. Sure. So he feels like, hey, this is like me. I was wronged, and I, you know, and so it it really is important to him to help people that he feels are like himself, and so uh, men, you know, <laughs> uh, yeah. men like himself, and so he, uh, yeah, he's very disillusioned uh, when he uh, finds out that no, in fact, and and we get the whole that uh, they go to hell, so they, the show is telling us, yep, they're pretty terrible folks. So I guess that what happens is when they get closure, I mean, that's what we've seen throughout. It's like, <laughs> you know, careful what you wish for, spirits. Because, mm. yeah. like, you know, like the uh, the axe-murdering dad, 
uh, he didn't actually ask to have anything happen to him. That was somebody else from the outside. But when these spirits get closure, uh, it's kind of a, you know, all right, mm. what, what kind of a spirit were you? Because get yeah, ready, yeah. Uh, it could get a lot worse for you. Yeah, presumably by the end of the season anyway, there'll be some reason, and presumably the night nurse will be involved with that, where they can still stay there and not have to think about, you know, the ticking time clock of, oh, someone's out to get you and you're going to go to hell and you're going to, Right, you know. that's a, the other thing we've dropped is this, is the death, right? They're, they're running from death all the time. Yes, you know, is that a thing that comes back, say, episode eight or something, maybe? Right. Um, because, yeah, you could imagine, I, I don't know, I could imagine they get they get recruited by the Lost and Found department, mm, maybe. Mm, you know, mm, like, hey, you maybe. guys go and pull, get spirits where they belong. I don't yeah, know. yeah, yeah. I'm wondering what they're uh, going to do with the landlord there, you know? It's like they, yeah. they began to explore what her situation was. And so uh, I wonder what the next step is for that character. It was a weird, I mean, you know, it, it's a show that be- deals a lot with death, so it's not that yes. odd. But it was a very, <laughs> a very odd death for the yeah. uh, for the stalker. It was just yeah. like, I'm going to yeah. stab you, whoops, and then yeah, slips yeah, yeah. and drives a spike through her own head. You're like, well, whoa, okay. And obviously we won't see the last of her. <laughs> right, I right. mean, we we'll we'll see we'll get death come or, along. Yeah, we we'll yeah, get her or, as a ghost. You know, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good call. Stalking Just her, st- haunting her, haunting, haunting. Exactly. Uh, good call. I didn't think about that, but yeah, you're right. That's uh, why not in this show. That yes, makes sense. Yes, exactly. Uh, but you're right. What is what is the end game? If there is one, what's the arc for the landlord? I'm not sure. Uh, but she's anyway. She's dealing with and and it, you know justifiably she's not pleased with Nico and yes. she's like, look, I get it. It's, you were trying to help, but you didn't, and you've made a lot of trauma. And <laughs> that said, you know, it, it was a stalker, and eventually yes. this was probably going to happen yes. anyway. So yes. all right, it happened. You know, yeah, <laughs> it probably would happen, I guess, without Nico. Is my point? But yeah, yeah, yeah. Nico sped up <laughs> events. I would say th- these two episodes are probably, in terms of quality for me, on par with the last two. So somewhere in the seven and a half range. Okay. Um, and um, yeah, we're looking forward looking forward to the last two episodes. Um, we're gonna go down to hell. Got to rescue Edwin. Get him back. <laughs> Interestingly, we uh, heard of another show that I I didn't realize was coming up so fast, but it is. Mm. Mm. Uh, it says this fall HBO oh, uh, yes. Dune, Dune Prophecy. Mm. Um, so I mean, there's a lot of shows coming out in the yes. fall. We yes, to exactly. Pick, pick and choose here, but yeah. anyway, we'll figure that out. But that sounds like a really, really uh, interesting show. So uh, I'm yeah. looking forward to that one. Me too. So thanks, everybody. Uh, come on back for episodes seven and eight. Thanks as always, Paul. Appreciate oh, sure. it, sir. No problem. We'll talk to everybody next time.